He is known for exploring the African coast south of the equator and discovering the mouth of the Congo River. He is recognized for erecting stone pillars with Portuguese royal arms along his voyage of discovery. His name is Diogo Chao. In the annals of history, there are figures whose indomitable spirit and thirst for discovery have forever changed the course of human knowledge and understanding. One such luminary was Diogo Chao, a Portuguese explorer of the African coast during the Age of Discovery. Born in Vila Real, Portugal, Chao embarked on a groundbreaking expedition in the year 1482, under the patronage of King João II. Equipped with a ship laden with stone pillars adorned with the cross of the Order of Christ and engraved with the Portuguese royal arms, Chao set sail to explore the African coast south of the equator. His mission was to continue the work of Henry the Navigator, who had pioneered Portuguese exploration in previous years. During his voyage, Chao made a stop at Sao Jorge de Mina to resupply. This strategic location provided essential provisions for the expedition to continue its journey. However, it was not long before Chao made a remarkable discovery. In August 1482, he arrived at the mouth of the Congo River, a monumental achievement that would forever be commemorated. Chao erected a pedreo, a stone pillar, on Shark Point to mark the Portuguese discovery of this significant landmark. Eager to explore further, Chao sailed up the Congo River for a short distance and engaged in commerce with the natives of the Bakongo Kingdom. He learned that their king resided farther up the river and, filled with curiosity, Chao dispatched four Christian native messengers in search of the ruler. Continuing his journey south along the coast of present-day Angola, Chao erected a second pedreo at Cabo de Santa Maria, possibly marking the end of this pioneering voyage. Upon returning to the Congo, Chao was dismayed to discover that his messengers had not returned. Determined to resolve this matter, he abducted four local natives who were visiting his ship and brought them back to Portugal. This act demonstrated Chao's determination to fulfill his mission and gather information about the lands he had encountered. By April 8, 1484, Chao arrived in Lisbon, where he was celebrated for his remarkable achievements. King Joao II bestowed upon him the title of cavalier in his household, elevating his status from esquire. The king also granted Chao an annuity of 10,000 reals and a coat of arms featuring two patros, symbolizing his groundbreaking expeditions. Chao's voyages had a profound impact on the world, expanding European knowledge of the African coast and opening up new possibilities for trade and exploration. His determination, bravery, and thirst for discovery continue to inspire adventurers and historians to this day. As we reflect upon the age of discovery, we are reminded of Diogo Chao, an explorer whose legacy forever changed the course of human understanding and shaped the world we know today. Diogo Chao, a renowned Portuguese explorer, embarked on his second voyage, accompanied by a group of skilled sailors. Departing from Vila Real in Portugal, they set sail towards the west coast of Africa. Their destination was Sao Jorge de Mina, a vital trading post in present-day Ghana. During this expedition, Chao aimed to further explore the African coastline and expand Portuguese influence. He revisited the Congo, where he had previously left his mark, and erected two more padros, stone pillars symbolizing Portuguese territorial claims. The first pedreo was erected at Cabo Negro in Angola, and the second at Cape Cross, marking the end of his journey southward, approximately 1,400 kilometers from his starting point. Chao's exploration also took him up the Congo River for 170 kilometers, until they reached the impressive Ayelola Falls. At this significant location, Chao and his men engraved an inscription on the cliffs, commemorating their arrival. The inscription proudly proclaimed, Here arrived the ships of the illustrious monarch, Dom João II of Portugal, Diogo Chao, Pedro Ains, Pedro da Costa, Alvaro Pires, Pero Escalar. During their expedition, Chao kept his promise to the local people by embarking four indigenous ambassadors, whom he had assured not to detain for more than 15 moons. This gesture demonstrated Chao's respect for the African cultures he encountered and his desire to establish peaceful relations. As Diogo Chao's second voyage came to an end, his explorations had expanded Portuguese knowledge of the African coastline and solidified their presence in the region. His achievements would leave a lasting legacy in the annals of European exploration. If you want to discover more adventurers on YouTube, make sure to hit that subscribe button for my channel, and don't forget to leave a comment in the section below, telling us which adventurers you'd like us to feature next.